Hi, my name is Gordon Gelrod. I live in Pompano Beach, and this is a 1986 Rolls-Royce Corniche II. It's uh, black paint, as you see, black uh, interior, and it also has a black top. Uh, I got the car this past August, and uh, in 1986, uh, my father, who lived in New York City with my stepmother, uh, my father in 1986 found out that he had stomach cancer and he sold his business and he bought my stepmother Stella this car. It uh, actually has all three options uh, that were available uh, for the Corniche 2 in 1986. Uh, the first, when I first got it, all of the seats and the carpets were covered with lambskins from Rolls Royce. It was a $1,500 option. Uh, we've since taken the lambskins off because uh, it was very hot, especially in the summer. Uh, it also has, um, you, you probably can't see it, but they have picnic tables that are connected to the uh, back of the two seats. The picnic tables are made of uh, burled walnut. Uh, that was the second option. Uh, it was also a $1,500 option at that time. And the third option is very unique. Uh, each one of the doors has a panel that's locked and it slides up. And inside that panel uh, is a Rolls-Royce uh, leather-covered flask with a sterling silver top, uh, a Rolls-Royce bottle wine opener, and also four English Crystal Rolls-Royce shot glasses. So uh, all of that uh, are on each one of the passenger, uh, passenger door and also the driver's door. Uh, so as I was saying that my father had uh, bought my stepmother Stella uh, this car after he found out that, that he was ill. And uh, unfortunately he passed away in 1987. Um, I did not know the car existed until April uh, when Stella, my stepmother, passed away at 87. And I was talking to my half-sister Rose and she told me about the car. She told me about the history of the car. Uh, I've been a member of the Antique Automobile Club uh, of America, the, South, uh, the Pompano Beach, excuse me, the Fort Lauderdale Division. Uh, so I spoke to members in our car club. I was nervous about you know, whether or not I should buy a Rolls Royce. Uh, they were all very supportive, uh, helped me make the decision to buy the car. And uh, through the club also, I was able to find people who could tell me where to go, the proper place to get the car fixed. Uh, the car only has 49,000 miles on it, um, and it was only driven five, uh, 300 miles uh, in the last five years. Uh, it, as I said, it only has 49,000 miles on it. Stella loved the car, she babied it, and it's in great condition. I'm not a, a mechanical person, I really don't know much about car engines, um, and I guess the evidence of that is the most amazing thing to me was how I can open up this big hood that's made of steel with just one, one finger. And that shows you the engine. It's all because of these big springs here. And I really can't tell you anything about the engine because I don't know that much about cars, but it's nice and clean and pretty. So you can take a look at it. Do you know how many cylinders? It's eight cylinders. Um, the air conditioner is made by uh, GM. The transmission also is made by GM. But the engine right here says RR. The engine is made by Rolls Royce. Uh, how is it smooth? It doesn't be by brake? Oh, it, it's, it's very, very um, comfortable to drive. Uh, it's very easy to drive. Um, when I got the car, um, it had tires on it that had great tread. Uh, there were Cooper tires, uh, but the tires hadn't been made for 10 years. So I really wasn't very comfortable uh, or feeling safe about driving it. And I did some research about tires. The tires for this car are not made anymore. Uh, but I did find British tires uh, made by Avon. And uh, there's only one company in the United States that imports them. And I was able to get those tires, um, five tires, shipped down here, um, mounted, balanced, and the front end, five tires was $2,000.
So nothing's cheap with this car. How is the engine noise? No, no noise from the engine. Uh, I'll, I'll start it up. Uh, one nice thing about the car uh, for shows like this is that there's a little switch in the trunk uh, that can turn on and turn off the battery. So I can have the doors open and the, and the, uh, the hood open and it won't put any drain on it. But I'll start it up. I don't know if you can see it or not, uh, but this is the inside of the car. It's in wonderful condition. As I mentioned, all the seats and the carpets were covered with uh, lambskin rugs. And, uh, and now that they're exposed, um, after a little bit of leather cleaner and conditioner, uh, the, the beauty of, of the leather seats uh, are, are really great. Also, all of this is not plastic. It's real wood. It's called burled walnut. And the ignition for the car is over here on the side. Now I'm going to start it now. There are some idiot lights here on the left that you probably can't see. And one thing that you have to be very careful of is that there are two lights. One says one brake pressure, the other says two brake pressure. And when you start it, both of those are lit up. You have to wait until those lights go dark before you move the car. Uh, one very interesting thing about the car is that it does not use brake fluid. It uses mineral oil. So if you take it to a regular shop and you tell them that you need uh, problems, you're having problems with your brake and they put brake fluid in instead of mineral oil, you will destroy the car. It'll cost a lot of money to fix. So as you can see, the engine is running. It's uh, pretty quiet. And uh, also the car only has 49,879 miles on it. So uh, Stella really kept it in great condition. Okay, one thing I didn't tell you is about this uh, cell phone. A lot of you probably remember phones like this. Uh, this is an original part of the car. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it's analog. So in today's day and age, everything with cell phones is digital. This does not work. Uh, but if uh, I find someone that can change the analog guts of it into digital, then it would work. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, I'd like to part with a little story about the car club that I belong to, the Antique Automobile Association of America, the Fort Lauderdale uh, region. Uh, I'm the secretary of the club. Uh, we meet once a month. Uh, we have a board meeting, and then the week after, we have a general meeting. Uh, back in July, I told the board meeting members uh, about the car. Uh, they were all very excited for me. And the next week, at our general meeting, I told all of our general members about the car as well. After I finished, one of our board members, Alan, came up to me. He had a little wrapped present and told everybody that he has a little present for Gordon and his Rolls Royce, and this is what it was, right? Bottle of Grey Poupon, and a lot of you remember why that's funny. One last thing I'd like to tell you, and I'll say goodbye. I don't know if you can follow me back over here on our license plate. So the license plate, it says Stella One. That was Stella's license plate. So this was Stella's license plate in New York. I have her license plate on the front, and uh, I thought it would be nice as a continuation of the story to keep her license plate on it. Thank you very much, and thanks for coming to Art Deco Weekend. Bye-bye.